Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss the first graph traversal technique, breadth first search. Breadth first search technique, in short, we will tell it as BFS search. So, what is graph traversal? Graph traversal means visiting all the vertices in the given graph in any systematic order. There are two methods in graph traversal. One is BFS, breadth first search technique and DFS, depth first search technique. So now we will discuss a breadth first search technique. So breadth first search technique is a method of traversing the graph by visiting all the vertices adjacent to the currently visiting vertex in any systematic order. For example, if you are considering this graph, we need to consider one vertex as the starting vertex. From that vertex, we need to visit all the vertices adjacent to the current vertex. That is, if A is the currently visiting vertex in the sense, all the vertices adjacent to the current vertex you need to visit next. For example, A in the sense, next you need to visit B and E. Next, the adjacent vertices to B, next to the adjacent vertices to E. Likewise, we need to proceed. So, in this systematic order, you need to visit all the vertices in the given graph. That is nothing but breadth first search. From the currently visiting vertex, you need to consider as all adjacent vertices and you need to visit those vertices. And the design steps if you are considering in the sense, initially consider one vertex as the starting vertex. So from this given graph, pick any one vertex that will be considered as the starting vertex and mark that vertex as visitor. In this given graph, I will consider A as the starting vertex and mark A is visitor. Next visit all the vertices adjacent to the source vertex. Now we are considering A as the source vertex and that vertex is visitor already. Next, consider the adjacent vertices to the source vertex A. So what are all the adjacent vertices to source vertex A here? B and E. And mark it as visitor. B and E. Next you need to visit. Okay, After visiting A, its adjacent vertices are B and E. Next you need to visit B and E. If there are several vertices, always break the tie by the alphabetical order. See here, after visiting A, the vertex B and E both are adjacent to A. So, which one will be visited first, B or E? So, here in this case, you need to break the tie by the alphabetical order. So, from the alphabetical order, which comes first? B comes first. So, B should be visited first. Next, E should be visited. Next on each iteration, the algorithm will identify all the unvisited vertices that are adjacent to the currently visited vertex and mark them as visitor. So now initially A will be considered as the source vertex and that vertex is marked as visitor. Next we need to consider the adjacent vertices to A that is B and E. Next visit B. Since in alphabetical order B comes first, next visit B and then visit E. Okay. And next you need to consider the adjacent vertices to B. What are all the adjacent vertices to B? It is C. Next, you need to visit C. So now, all the vertices adjacent to B is also visited now. Next, go to E. What are all the adjacent vertices to E? C and D. And here, you need to consider the adjacent unvisited vertex. C is already visited here, right? So, you need to consider the adjacent unvisited vertex here. Then, D. Now, all the adjacent vertices to E is visited. Next, consider C. If there is any unvisited vertices adjacent to C, check it. If there is any unvisited vertex, next visit that vertex. Then consider vertex D. If there is any unvisited vertex adjacent to D in the sense, next visit that vertex. Likewise, the procedure continues. In every iteration, algorithm will identify all the unvisited vertices adjacent to the currently visiting vertex. Next, one by one, those vertices will be visited. Next up. The algorithm stops once it has been visited all the vertices in the given graph. So this is the given graph A, B, E, C and D. In this systematic order we have visited all the vertices, right? So algorithm will stop once it has been visited all the vertices. If there is any universal vertices still remains means BFS must be restarted. Suppose if you are considering here in this, if there is any universal vertices not connected to this given graph in this sense, for example, P, Q, R, S. Likewise, see P, Q, R and S is not connected to A, B, C, D, E. This graph and this graph is not connected. Okay. 
So, if you are considering these four vertices, you cannot able to boost it from this graph since it is not connected. So, in this case, if universal vertices still remains in the sense, BFS must be restarted. So, here in this graph, consider one vertex as the starting vertex and visit that vertex. So, now P will be visited first. Next, consider the adjacent vertices to P, that is Q and S is adjacent. Q should be visited first, next S should be visited. Okay, you will break the tie like this. So, after visiting Q and S, next R is adjacent to Q, next visit R. Likewise, the procedure continues. So, breadth first search is nothing but in the given graph, consider one vertex as the starting vertex. Initially, mark that vertex as visitor. Next, consider the adjacent vertices to this starting vertex. Okay, that is here A is the starting vertex, B and E is the adjacent vertices. Next, visit B and E in alphabetical order. First visit B, next is E. Then consider the adjacent vertices to B and mark it as visitor. C is visitor now. Next consider the adjacent vertices to E and mark it as visitor. D is visitor now. Next consider the adjacent vertices to C and next consider the adjacent vertices to D. In this way, you need to visit all the vertices in the given graph. And the algorithm stops once it has been visited all the complete vertices. If there is any universal vertices still remains unvisited in the sense, algorithm will be restarted again, like this case. So, this is nothing but the design steps for breadth first search. Next, to implement the breadth first search technique, the data structure we are going to use here is Q data structure. So, whenever you are finding the unvisited vertex adjacent to current vertex in the sense, that will be inserted into the Q. Once it has been visited and all its adjacent vertices is also included in the Q in the sense, then you can remove that vertex. Okay. So, Q data structure is used to trace the operation of the breadth first search. And here, Q will be initialized with the traversal starting vertex. One vertex you need to consider as the starting vertex or source vertex. And that vertex will be initialized with the Q. And which is marked as visitor first. Then, on each iteration, algorithm identifies all the unvisited vertices that are adjacent to the front vertex. Front vertex is nothing but the starting vertex or source vertex. Okay. It will consider all the unvisited vertices adjacent to the source vertex and mark them as visited. And that should be added into the queue. Once all its adjacent unvisited vertices is included in the queue in the sense, the front vertex will be removed. Meaning is the current vertex we have been visited. Right. And all its adjacent vertices, adjacent unvisited vertices also we have included into the queue. Then we can remove this current vertex from the queue. So, the data structure we are using in breadth first search is nothing but a Q data structure. And the concepts we will use in breadth first search is nothing but one is breadth first search, 4S, tree edge, cross edge. BFS traversal can be constructed with the help of the breadth first search, 4S only. And the traversal starting vertex will serve as the root of the first tree in such a forest. So, what do you mean by forest in the sense? Forest is a undirected disconnected acyclic graph. So, for example, if you are considering this graph in the sense, what is the forest for this graph in the sense? Initially, you will visit vertex A, right? And then its adjacent vertices are B and D. So, next you will visit B in alphabetical order. B comes first. Next, you will visit D, right? So, after visiting B and D, next you need to visit C. From the adjacent vertex to B is C. So, next you will visit C through B. So, here if you are considering from each vertex, you need to consider its edge. Only one edge you need to consider. That is, it should be connected. See here, A to B, there is an edge. And B to C, there is an edge. C to D, there is an edge. But here, we are not showing. So, this will be included as a dot line. So, this is nothing but forest for this graph. So, forest is nothing but it is a undirected disconnected graph. Okay. Meaning is all the edges in the given graph is not required to include it. Edges we are including in the order of visiting the vertex. It is also called a disjoint collection of tree. Each component of this forest is nothing but a tree. So, this is nothing but forest for this given graph. And a tree edge is nothing but whenever a new unvisited vertex is reached for the first time. This vertex is attached as a child to the vertex being reached from an edge. That is called a tree edge. So, what do you mean by tree edge in the sense? See here, the vertex A is considered as the source vertex. 
it is adjacent vertices are B and T. So, A directly connected to D here. So, whenever new unvisited vertex is reached for the first time. So, B here it is reached for the first time from the vertex A. This vertex is attached as a child from this vertex. This is called tree edge and this is called tree edge and this is called tree edge. That is whenever you are finding the unvisited vertex adjacent to that currently visiting vertex first time. That will be included like a tree edge. And what do you mean by cross edge in the sense? If an edge leading to a previously visited vertex other than its immediate predecessor, that is called cross edge. So, here if you are considering in the sense, immediate predecessor per C is B only. Okay. This is called cross edge. There is an edge between C and D. But this is not an edge directly from its predecessor. So, predecessor in the sense, here you need to consider the previously visited vertex. Through this vertex only, we are finding this unvisited adjacent vertex. That is nothing but the predecessor here. But through D also, we can able to visit C. But we are identifying C as unvisited from B only, first time, not from B. So, this will be considered as the cross edge and this will be considered as the tree edge. So, these are all the concepts related to graph traversal and breadth first search technique. So, in this session, we have seen the introduction to breadth first search technique, its design steps and what are all the concepts. In the next session, we will solve one problem related to breadth first search technique using the Q data structure. Thank you for watching this video. 